So, hello, Blenderheads and internet in general. My name is Nico Gaudenzi, and I'm here to bring you a quick technique to make clothes for your characters. This technique is inspired by a licensed software called uh, Marvelous Designer, and it's a way to bring that idea into Blender. The basic idea is that you start with a flat sewing pattern, like the ones that actual clothing designers and fashion designers use in the real world and you use simulation to wrap them around your model. This makes for uh, clothing designing uh, more realistic and more easy to texture and it gets some pretty interesting results. Um, I should warn you that topology is important so you will have to spend some time to see which topology works best for you. But uh, I'm going to show you the basic, basic, basic technique. I'm not going to tweak any of the uh, parameters so that you see the basics and then you tweak it yourself. So what I'm gonna, uh, I have here is, is uh, uh, CG Cookies uh, Flexi Rig, which is a very good rig, which is in uh, BlendSwap. I advise you to check it out. It's, it's really nice. And I'm going to make a shirt for this guy. So um, I'm going to quickly just add a circle. Again, I'm not going to tweak almost anything. I'm going to rotate it in the x-axis 90 degrees. I'm going to scale it in edit mode. I'm never sure if this should be in edit mode or in object mode, but I like to do it in edit mode. So that's it. And then I'm going to position it somewhere around here and in front of the character I should name it uh, a shirt I'm using capitals because there are many many things in this scene so this is a quick way to find it so there it is and then in edit mode I'm gonna E to, to extrude then S to scale and make it like uh, so yes then with Ctrl R, I'm going to make a few loop cuts, just a few, like this one, and maybe that one, perfect. Then uh, I'm going to delete the top part, so A to deselect, B for bounding selection, and X to delete the vertexes. There we go. So this is my basic piece of clothing right and um, I'm gonna make the shape of a, of a shirt so I'm gonna because I'm gonna use a mirror modifier I'm gonna delete these vertexes too and then very quickly create here a uh, shirt just like so because this is going to be clothing, it shrinks us a little bit, so you make it larger in general. Now scale C0 to make it flat, and then I'm going to model quickly a sleeve. C to have this selection tool, escape, uh, alt to deselect, escape to go out of the selection mode, then E to extrude, I'm gonna scale it in the X zero to make it flat. Then I'm gonna position it here. Then with Control R, I'm gonna make just a few loop cuts like this. So this is your basic sewing pattern. It's a bit thin, I think. So I'm just gonna enlarge that a little bit. Mm -hmm. And maybe I'll use proportional editing. Yeah. Just like uh, so. Yeah, that's good enough. I want you to notice that uh, it's still flat, right? So this is my front part. Now I'm going to make my back. I'm just going to duplicate this one and move it in the Y just a little bit like that in the three oh, it was too much make sure it's in the Y 
so that they stay symmetrical. So we have our basic pieces of clothing, right? Very low poly. Well, not low poly, but enough to to work with. So now what, what we want is to tell certain vertexes that they should move to the center and connect with the other line, right? So to animate vertexes, what we're going to use is hoops, which is a fairly old technique, but it's not so so regularly used. So what we need is vertex groups. So I'm going to make two vertex groups, one for the front and one for the back. With the vertexes that I want to move towards the center of the fabric. There we go. This is good. So now we add a vertex group, call it front. Remember to check that the weight is one and assign. Then I'll make an, an exactly identical group back here. And this exactly key, uh, identical is important because these vertexes are going to be welded together. So each vertex needs its counterpart, right? So I think I did select that one. Yep. I'm going to call this one back. And I'm going to also assign it. So now if I deselect and select, there's the back group. Perfect. And the front should work as well. Perfect. Uh, just notice that the normals of these planes are still pointing to the front, so uh, we'll have to fix the normals of, of that later. But for now it's okay. Um, and we're going to make one more group, and this group is going to be the sum of the front plus the back. So you just select them, and in this one, which I'm going to call pin, just assign them. Okay, so we have three vertex groups. Now we're going to move them with hooks and the clothing simulation. We're going to add a modifier. First I'm going to add a mirror modifier with clipping in the front just so that these vertexes stay right where they should be. You see them moving because I have my proportional editing on so I'm going to disable it. Okay. So that being said, I'm going to apply it immediately and then I'm going to add two hook modifiers, one and two. The first one is going to be the, ah, wait, I need to add two objects which are going to drive the animation of the vertexes. So I'm going to shift add an empty plane axis, I'm going to call it front and I'm going to select the front vertexes, selecting one, then control L, then shift S, cursor to selected, there's my cursor, and now I grab my empty, shift S, and selection to cursor. There we have it, and now this piece of clothing should be moved by the front em empty, and it should move the front vertex group. We'll do exactly the same for the back. So select one, control L, shift S, cursor to selected, then shift add an empty, plane axis, I'm gonna call it back. There we go. And it's set in place. And then we tell the cloth that the back empty should drive the back vertex groups. There we go. Now if we grab this and move it, it moves the vertexes we, we assign to that vertex group. So what we want is to move them, to animate them, to move from where they are to the center. So I'm gonna take both of them and insert a location and then take this one, move it to the center which is Y0 and in frame 20, oh, in frame 20, I'm going to move it to zero and add an insert uh, location keyframe, and then the back exactly the same, zero, I location. So good. Now the vertexes we've assigned move 
the way we want, and we'll tell the rest of the vertexes to follow a cloth simulation. So what we're going to do is select the cloth and just put a clothing. I'm not going to move, I'm not going to tweak anything except the end. Uh, so we we made the animation to frame 20, I'm going to end it in frame 25, right? And then I need to make this guy a collision object. Again, I'm not going to change any of these parameters. These are the ones that are most important for cloth simulation. Now that I have all these set, I'll click Alt A. Oh, wait, and I need to, this is why I made that vertex group, I need to pin my vertexes. So in the cloth simulation, I do pinning and pin. Now Alt A, and they move together and wrap around the body. Now see that uh, they stay vertically exactly the same, like gravity is not affecting them because the hooks did not move in the in the C direction, so it stays stiff. So what we do is once we've calculated this, we go to a frame where they're already stuck together and we apply everything. We can now delete our hooks, right? And now we can again do um, cloth simulation. I'm going to subdivide this. Ah, and we need to, before we do this, we need to saw these vertexes together. So now it's very simple because we have this group which is called pin. We select it, W, remove doubles. Now they're together, 28 vertexes removed. So now we can our, add our subdivision and add another cloth. I'm going to simply go and click Alt A. And there we go. It's falling, it's reacting to the body, it's shrinking. That's because of the cloth presets. And we have a shirt for our characters. Um, you should. UV unwrap and texture before doing the hook procedures when it's still flat, which makes it really simple to do. And then this is the normal problem I, I was telling you about that they're still pointing to the front, but this is easy to fix. You just go to edit mode, select everything, and then here in the shading UVs, you click recalculate. And there you have it. And there you have a very nice um, clothing tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave any comments if you like it and hope to hear from you soon. Enjoy!